When we arrived at the uh, the club, there was this sort of very uh, peculiar situation where we had a whole academy and uh, a first team um, and a women's team that was kind of connected to the club, but not under the umbrella of the club. And myself and Stuart and Dow are really much of the opinion that it should be a one club strategy from uh, U8s all the way up to the uh, to the first team. So I think it, it, it was really important to us and we're really excited to bring them into the fold in, in a complete fashion. So it's a vision of um, that's come from Jason um, through sort of affinity with with women's football, with his you know his daughters playing at a good level in Canada. He's always had that affinity and and the want to sort of support the the women's teams at the football club, um, who have been tremendously supported by the foundation. Um, but it's now a question of moving them into, I suppose that. From a footballing perspective, the main umbrella of the club. So there must be sort of th three main footballing strands to the club within the main part. Obviously, the first team, um, and the academy teams, and, and and the women's team. There's a there's a clear clear aspiration for the women's team to to carry on enjoying the success they have done for a number of years now, and, and to grow um, much further um, along the way. And like you say, to to put it in into the main part of the club and to enjoy the, the access to the resources that the, the wider club can provide um, is, is only going to support their growth. I think that the culture we've got within the team is fantastic. Um, everybody really wants to push on, everybody wants to drive forward. You know, we've only just finished training, but we've got players asking what they can do for pre-season for the fitness and moving forward. You know, everybody really wants to drive forward with this and be the best they can be. So I think the badge is definitely a bonus, but the environment we've got, the the staff we've got around us as well, like we've got some really top quality staff that are in that are so knowledgeable and so experienced in what they're doing. It's fantastic to work with them. And so it's, it's not just necessarily the turning up, training and playing. I think what we've got posh is, you know, something a little bit more special where we've got, you know, great experience around us to be able to help the players to develop. And we've got the players that really want to develop. And we're looking for those players that are going to kind of come in and fit in that. And, you know, you said about us then wanting to drive forwards. We'd love in, you know, however many years time to be able to be one of those clubs up there at the very top you know, with a professional setup, that would be fantastic. And we do need those players that are going to kind of come with us on that journey and, and drive, because what we don't want to do is every year end up, um, you know, dropping off with players and just getting a whole new batch in. That's not what we're about. We're about making sure the players we've got with us are, are kind of developed and, and we keep that ethos. They'll definitely grow and they'll definitely go again. Um, that, that, that's an ambition within the football club that we we support that. We really love um, the integration that's happening right across the club, all the way from from the U8s all the way up to the um, women's team and, and uh, men's team. Next year, we hope to have a U23 team as well as part of our CAT2 um, academy application. So it's really fantastic to see the club working as a whole, um, women's and men's, both commercially and on, and on the football pitch. It's been brilliant to kind of see and, you know, even within the women's section, our reserves have been dominating their league as well. So it's not even just the first team within the women's section. It's It's been really positive and I think it's a really exciting year for the club that hopefully it sets the whole club up to be able to really push forwards and drive forwards across the board. We've really got a, a sort of a strong group across the, the two squads to really drive players. It's not that we're just throwing everything at the first team. Actually, the reserve team are getting a lot of extra support that they wouldn't be getting anywhere else. We always want to do the best we can. Um, and we've kind of got a, a real drive to be the best team we can be and push on as far as we can. It just allows us to, like you say, grow. It gives us that, that organisational structure and um, financially as well to, to just just, just grow in, in terms of what we do at the training ground, what we do um, on the pitch, um, and also sort of the, the logistics of everything and, and being a bit more unified with um, within line with the men's team, which, you know, the club have always been brilliant anyway up to date, but I think now it just it just brings it under that, like you say, that, that umbrella a little bit more. Um, and it's really exciting for, for the staff and the players to to get on board that.